Hi everybody, welcome to my little corner where there's no wrong way to play with paper. I hope you're having a very, very blessed day. I hope that you are enjoying 30 Days of Sketches, um, not only from me, but from all the other content creators who are part of this hop. Now you can click one link and go and view them. They'll just continue to play and it will all be 30 Days of Sketches from different content creators. You can also join the Facebook group and get all of the um, sketches for free that were designed just for 30 Days of Sketches. A big shout out to Christy and um, her beautiful life, and we want to thank her for doing the 16 times she has organized this. So it's really, really amazing. Um, I enjoyed 30 Days of Sketches. I'm really excited about this time because I didn't get to play along. I mean, I did, but I didn't do a video every day. I just did a share because I was crazy busy. I'm still crazy busy, but I missed doing this, and I love um, doing it because I get so much done. I get so much done. If you are a first time scrapper, watch the 30 days of sketches videos from not only myself, but anyone um, that is doing them because you will get so many ideas and it'll inspire you and you will get so many done. If you did a big trip, let's say you went on a cruise, 30 days of sketches will help you get the whole album done in a month. I promise. It's amazing. Um, and I've done several of the series that I've done. I did like a zoo trip. I did the Denver Aquarium once. I did Jilly Joe's Sweet 16. Um, yeah, you can get a whole bunch of photos done, an entire album done if, if you um, think ahead a little bit. So lots and lots and lots of fun. This time I'm just kind of scatterbrained and I'm going everywhere. There are a lot of this past summer's uh, vacation photos that I have because I'm getting caught up. I'm kind of excited for myself. <laughs> Who thought it would ever happen with five kids? But um, definitely, definitely encourage you to do it. Remember, you can do it whenever you want. You don't have to do it in 30 days. Oh, that sun, man, it just wants to <laughs> wants to play with us today, it wants to dance. Um, but you can do it whenever you want. Maybe you can only do a week and then maybe next month you can do another week, but it is a great way to um, get a lot done. All right, today, day 12, Lisa Marie. She is one of our swappers over on Ginger's Corner. I am so excited, Lisa, to do your sketch. And basically what she has, now you guys, I'm trying to remember to put everything up here. So far, so good, knock on wood. Um, she basically has bases and then a nice large piece of paper and some embellishments and a grid of photos title very simple yet wonderful beautiful sketch very universal could do it many times over right that's why i encourage you to go over to the 30 days of sketches facebook group you can print them off you can save them on a, a zip drive whatever you do with your sketches you can definitely um keep them and use them in the future they're free right not much in this <laughs> Copy is free. All right. I'm using 49 in market color swatch peach. That's what I'm using. And this is the paper that I use. We're going to talk about this, but I wanted to show you how I got so many different things out of one piece of paper. Now that color swatch peach, it has um, two of each paper. That's the B side. This is the particular one. And so, and I also do have the uh, laser cut elements and you'll see those when I go to do my embellishments. All right, so what I did, now Lisa has basically, she has this, right? She has a card stock. I mean, it's white in the photo, but you could use a printed if you wanted to. And then she has these two large blocks of paper the green behind my photos, right? Well, I added strips. I cut down three and a half inches because that's kind of where the flowers ended. So I did three and a half inches on each side. Then I took this middle and I made a little pistachio because we went to pistachio. <laughs> and I'm going to um, back this cut file. Now I inked this with my favorite color, brushed corduroy um, from Tim Holtz, Distressed Inks, and I inked every single piece of paper. The green that you see here is the green that I used as a strip, just a little divider. You could use washi tape. You could use, um, you could whip out your Pringles can if you have one like me, Mr. Don Juan, and you could <laughs> totally, I can't even say his name without laughing, um, put a border strip, scrap, whatever you wanted. You don't have to put anything. You could just use the blocks like um, Lisa intended. Um, so 
I thought I would kind of show how to do a cut file. Not that y'all don't know how, but we have new scrappers in this community. And I know when I, even when I took a little break and I came back and I found Miss Janet Madison, I'm going to do this while I'm talking. Um, I, I learned a lot just by watching people do simple things like back cut files, tricks that I didn't know. Now, when you back a cut file and there are many different colors that you want to, papers you want to back it with, Start from the center and go out, which is what I've done here, right? I took my scrap of green. Uh, this is all that's left of it after I cut out my title. <laughs> and I backed the center first, okay? Let's see if I can get this on there as much as I can. Okay. And then I will take the larger and go over it. So see how I did that? I cut around this, that back this, and then I just have to glue it down. It is easier to work from the center and go out, okay? And if you wanna ink in between things, you see how I inked it first? Ink it first, don't try to ink it after you back it. It'll be a hot mess. Could you imagine me trying to ink these inside of there? Yeah, it wouldn't work, it wouldn't. All right, so we're going to cut, fussy cut around here, just like so. So I've got it all fussy cut. Now, you're never gonna fussy cut perfect. Okay, maybe you will, but I never will. So, you know what? Let's just ink the edges, just go around the outside edges again. One, it's gonna give it a little more dimension because I think the heavier ink, the better, right? Two, it's gonna hide anything that you did not get spot on, especially these corners here, right? And pistachios, I know, I have seen many in person now. I've seen a pistachio field. Um, look, it's right here. And it's loaded down with pistachios in the close-ups. I'll try to make sure you can see the pistachios in there. I don't know that I'm going to be able to, but I'll try. Um, anyway, so, like, they're, they're brown and they have different edges. And that's what I told myself when I made this on the Cricut. It doesn't have to be a perfect edge because pistachios do not have perfect edges at all. Okay? So, I made that on my Cricut and I'm pretty proud of myself even if I do say so. <laughs> I'm still learning. I'm still learning. It's only been since April. I don't use it every day. So let me put my lid on my glue here. Okay. So there is that. I also made a title with those same scraps. Remember I had the center and I used the same paper that I had. I had this green scrap that I cut this out of and I backed this. So it all kind of matches. And this, um, the backing, the it's called an offset. I believe. Oh, I'm not good at this. The offset on the Cricut, I used the center of this paper that I cut out and I have a little tiny bit left and I'll save this for scraps. This I'll probably punch some hearts or you guys know me. It'll go somewhere. It just will. Okay. I mean, I even saved the center out of the statue. It's just, I can't help it. I can't waste it. All right. So she has her title over here and I think I'm gonna do that. In fact, I think my pistachio is gonna go over here. And I think that my title is gonna go over here too. I like it a lot. I thought about maybe putting it across here. Should we trial and error it? Oh, that's kind of good too. I don't know. See, I shouldn't have done that because now I'm confused. <laughs> now I wanna talk about the grid of photos. I've said it, I'll say it again, and I'm gonna say it this time. It is only a jumping up point, the sketch. Her photos, she has six by fours this way. Mine were not horizontal, mine were vertical. So all I did was flip this grid this way, okay? I left the design of the paper that way, but I flipped my grid so it was like that. Same thing here. I flipped this this way because I had more um, vertical or hor no, vertical than horizontal, okay? Now, if you have the exact photos, sure, that works out great, but don't be afraid to adapt it. I think Lisa would probably tell you the same thing. All right, I've marinated on my title. I want it here. It looks bare. It looks bare. Although, I do think I will ink this. When I go to, um, and I will put it up on foam. When I go to put my layout together when I step away. I think I will ink this so that it stands out just a little bit more, okay? And then I just have some goodies from those laser cuts and I wanna play with them and see what I can come up with. I do, I do. I'm thinking I want, I thought these were kinda of cool and I think I want one on each side here. 49 and Market laser cuts are divine 
for sure. Maybe even there, like that. We'll pull this one out, mimic what we've got going on here. Then I do have this, and I think, hmm, I love this. I do want to ink it while I'm thinking about where it should go. Should it go under my title? I need some more. Two page layouts takes a lot of room. Um, should it go under my title over here to anchor it? Which I don't know, because the pistachio I made kind of anchors it, right? Or should I put it over here with my journaling block? Because that's kind of my deal. I I know that there's maybe some embellishments that need to go here, um, and like she has here, and, and I will probably do that. But I also would like to journal a little bit about how my family resisted going to pistachio land. They did. That is not very nice of them. I go lots of places that I don't want to go with them. <laughs> like, you know. But when we went, they were pretty excited because we did have ice cream. And that's a whole other layout. So if there's ice cream involved, my daughter is game. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is maybe go like that. And I will journal the little bit that I need to journal there. Then I have a sentiment. And always curious. Always stay curious. And then I'm thinking some butterflies. Because I don't think you can see it on here. No, I must have, well, it's hidden back here. You look on there, there are butterflies, which, okay. And who doesn't love a butterfly? We all love a good butterfly, right? So I'm thinking this little tiny one here, up on foam. I'm thinking, I like this one with the contrast, maybe there. And then we'll put this one, why not here? Yeah, well, I don't know, maybe there. And I will ink. All these elements, well, except this, that's too small to ink. I, mm, yours truly is not doing that. So I will ink everything that I can because this butterfly is pretty small. And I'm also thinking I have some orange, let's pull them out, pink fresh um, glitter drops. And I'm going to use those as my enamel dots. That's the whole layout, you guys. It is that simple. It took me the longest to uh, do my Cricut because, you know, I'm still new. Um, I'm going to step away and I'm going to put it together. We'll come back. If I do something different, we will chitty chat about it. We will. And hang in there. Thank you. All right, you guys, I got it all glued down. I did add a little bit. I added a bow here because there's a bow here, a bow. I don't know. It just made my heart happy. <laughs> and I did add, oops, I got a little piece of the foam tape, um, there, the backing. Um, I did add a little, um, anchor here. Honestly, it was sitting over here and I didn't want to put it away. I'm not even going to tell a fib. It just was. Added my little um, glitter drops from Pink Fresh. Did my little bit of journaling. It all came together super, super fast. I love 30 Days of Sketches in case you didn't notice or you couldn't tell. And I hope that you are inspired. I hope that you are blessed and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for being here. Bye. Mm -hmm.